Hi, it's Toronto's real estate team at Remax, and here is our April 2019 Toronto Real Estate Market Report. We're finally hitting more of a spring market, with a sales and price increase over 2018 numbers. I'll comment more on that in this broadcast as we go through the market report. So let's review some of the Toronto Real Estate Board statistics and see what's happened. For the first time this year, sales were up for April compared to last year, with 9,042 houses and condominiums changing hands in all the districts. Although higher than 2018, these numbers are similar to what we saw six plus years ago. Condo townhouse and high-rise suites took a typical 33.5% share of the market, with 3,028 units being sold. The average sale price for all GTA homes came in at $820,148, up a very slight 1.9% from one year ago. The active listing inventory is one of the strongest indicators of how slow or fast the market has been moving. The inventory average for the month of April compared to historical numbers was basically flat compared to last year at this time. This is actually a good sign, since we're not being overwhelmed with high inventory levels and is probably keeping us from seeing a slump in prices in some GTA locations. The sales to listings or percent chance of selling ratio is how we determine what type of market we're actually in. 24 to 28% is a neutral market. Below 24% is a buyer's market and above 28% is a seller's market. In April, that ratio finished at 50.1%, about 8% above last year. The GTA overall has moved slightly more into moderate seller market territory, so buyers and sellers may need to adjust their pricing expectations if they want to make a move. The days on market average for GTA slash Toronto homes was 19 days, two days faster than March. So let's look at what's happening in the downtown Toronto condominium market. West of Young and south of Bloor in the CO1 Treb district, the average sale price for April was $695,861. That average moved up 5.8% from the same time last year. With 384 condo sales in the month, the numbers were down 9% compared to 2018 and back to 2014 levels. There were 577 active listings on the market in April, up 19% from last year, but still significantly lower than prior to 2017. The ratio of sales to listings increased to 66.6%, which keeps CO1 in busy seller's market territory. The average days on market came in at 17, one day slower than last month. Now east of Young and south of Bloor in the CO8 Treb district, the average sale price for March was $694,009. That number was up 4.7% compared to 2018. And with 162 condo sales in the month, the numbers were down 1.2% from last year. There were 227 active listings on the market in April, up 24% from 2018. The ratio of sales to listings was 71.4% for the month. That number puts CO8 into busy seller market territory. The average days on market came in at 16, one day slower than last month. Here's a snapshot summary of the significant real estate milestones for Toronto in April 2019. Sales and average sale prices up slightly compared to 2018. April sales were up 16.8% compared to last year at 9,042. And the ratio of sales to listings rose slightly to 50.1% in April. Finally, the spring market is here. The average sale price came in at $820,148, just barely positive compared to last year, up 1.9%. Note that this overall market average was 10.7% lower than two years ago in April 2017. And the GTA real estate market overall averaged the days on market at 19, one day slower than last year. 
Also, detached home sales in April 2019 with a purchase price over $2 million were up 13.6%, 217 houses, while condo apartment sales over $2 million were up 28%, 23 suites. The condo share of the market dropped slightly to 33.5% during the month. Downtown condo active listing numbers were up by 19% in CO1 and up in CO8 by 24% from last year at this time. And April condo sales were down 9.2% in CO1 and lower by 1.2% in CO8 compared to 2018. The downtown condo days on market average was 16 to 17 days, two to three days faster than the overall market. And the ratio of sales to listings for condos downtown were closely matched in CO1 at 66.6% and in CO8 at 71.4%, but still higher than in the overall market. Building on this higher demand due to better affordability, condo appreciation in the two main downtown markets averaged 47 to 5.9% year over year, slower than at any time in 2018 but still loads above the whole board average. Markets in York Region and other 905 neighbourhoods have suffered the most from the market slowdown. All York Region communities are continuing to show that they are in serious buyer market territory. Expect sales and inventory to pick up more as we progress through the spring market in May through June where listings and buyers are most active. Buyers should watch for more pricing opportunities to get the condo or house of their dreams. This month we're looking at the stats for the Toronto Real Estate Board showing monthly sales for the past four years. The chart shows April 2019 sales finally exceeding sales for last year for the first time. The expectation will be that this trend will continue at least through May and June while the spring market runs its course. So what's a terrific way to make your first baby step into Toronto's real estate market and find out where those more affordable choices are? The best first step is to go on a market experience tour of condo or house neighbourhoods with one of our team members. Leave your checkbook at home. What a tour is not intended to do is show you homes with the intention that you'd immediately buy one. What it is intended to do is give you an opportunity to get a clearer idea of what's available on the market in your favourite parts of the city and in your price range without worrying about being pressured into having to make an immediate buying decision. Once you've had your tour, we want you to go back home and think about what you saw. You'll then be better able to set up a good home buying plan and make smart, educated decisions about where and when you want to be in your new home. You can sign up for your condo tour at marketexperiencetour.com and a tour of houses at dailytorontohometours.com. Remember to check back here in early June for our May 2019 Toronto Real Estate Market Report.